why the PGA's big news this week has turned the golf world and its brand reputation upside down. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand hit or miss of the week. This week, we have a swing and a miss, and it goes to the PGA. The world's leading golf organization announced Tuesday that it was merging with the upstart Saudi-backed Live Golf Tour, which splashed onto the scene in 2021 with a different tournament format and, crucially, huge paychecks for PGA players that defected. Last year, though, it was an entirely different story. Backed by $2 billion from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, last June, Live Golf used multi-million dollar contracts and guaranteed payouts to lure pros away from the PGA. It reportedly paid Dustin Johnson and Bryson DeChambeau $100 million each and $200 million for Phil Mickelson. The PGA quickly suspended 17 players who'd pledged to live and promised future suspensions for anyone who participated in live events. This was not friendly competition. But beyond the straight up competitive threat, the not so underlying issue behind much of the criticism aimed at live was that it was just the latest example of Saudi sports washing pursuing high-profile sports like soccer and Formula One to distract from its record on human rights. According to U.S. intelligence reports, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who controls the kingdom's public investment fund, is thought to have ordered the 2018 murder of Washington Post journalist and Saudi government critic Jamal Khashoggi. Not long before he joined Liv, Mickelson famously told a reporter that the Saudis were, quote, scary who killed Khashoggi and, quote, execute people for being gay. Mickelson later convinced 48 players to abandon the PGA Tour to join Liv. Beyond anything to do with sports washing, the PGA has now created a pretty serious brand problem internally among its own players. Many PGA pros turned down tens of millions of dollars to stay with the PGA and now have to see those who took the money and run welcome back with open arms and bulging bank accounts. From a brand perspective, this isn't really about sports washing, but it's about saying one thing and doing another. Of course, both people and organizations can change their minds and positions on issues, but how the PGA did this as a surprise announcement, balanced against its posturing over the past year, has put a dent in the tour's brand image. As a kid, I worked at a country club cleaning golf clubs, and I remember an old wooden sign hanging above the door, and in it, it was carved the old golf adage, keep your friends close, but you're allegedly journalist murder murdering vastly more wealthy competition even closer. Another big winner here is Box to Box Films. The makers of Netflix golf doc series Full Swing, which was renewed for a second season in March, must be praising the reality TV gods right now. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. For more brand hit or miss of the week and other great Fast Company content, hit subscribe and smash that bell for alerts. Pew!